guys and welcome to vlogmas day 20 today we're going to see my nan and pop and we've just been literally doing nothing all morning it's been like just really lazy so yeah it's just been one of them days and i'm just not feeling great at the moment i don't know what it is i don't know why not like ill or anything i just like like mood wise i'm just like oh, i feel really like blech and there's no really word to describe it. I don't know. So yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to slap out of it. I'm sure I'm just, I don't know whether like I'm not overtired. Maybe it's just catching up with me. Crap on the lens. Um, yeah, just overtired. We're just like, I don't know. I think that's all it all is. <laughs> so I'm just going to go now and we're going to go to Nana Pops. What the size is that rainbow? It's a double one as well. Look at this for willpower, guys. What it's having. And I'm having a diet coke. Hi, yeah. Can I have a spicy chicken winter melt meal, please? Is that a large meal? Yes, please. Like diet coke, please. I didn't know for you. And um, a regular diet coke, please. Order. Yes, thanks. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh no, sorry. And uh, some of the cheese bites, please. That's the cheese yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, I can smell it. Santa's on the way. <laughs> Morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. It is Christmas Eve, 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 Eve I think. <laughs> and today I've got to go to the doctors to get my results from all my blood tests and everything. So that should be a barrel of laughs. Just right around the corner from Christmas. Hopefully everything should be fine. Wish me luck. I really apologise for the poor lack of uh, vlogging material that I've had over the last few days. It's just we've not really been doing that much. I've felt really tired and like I've been kind of moaning a bit. Like, <laughs> you know, you just feel a bit rubbishy. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling a bit better now. So I am just heading to the doctors and I will catch you in a little while. I am at work today, but hopefully I can do you a bit of a better vlog today. I'm here now, so here we go. If you can't remember, it's because of all like um, like the my, my cycles and all of that sort of thing. Um, this is what I'm getting all the results for. And hopefully they should tell me what the next stage is. I hope that they do something for me because this has been really ongoing since I was 16. So I need to get it sorted now. I'm not getting any younger and I just want to get it sorted. So I just really, really hope that they can do something for me. Hey, so I got to work and I totally realized like, that I forgot to update you guys on my results and things. So I went in obviously and we discussed the results and everything, every single test has come back as negative. So that's really, really good. So nothing, I've got nothing untoward whatsoever. Um, all the norm, uh, le hormone levels are all normal as well, which I, I just don't understand because obviously there's something that's stopping me from releasing eggs. So there is a problem somewhere. So it's just really difficult to determine what that is because obviously every all of my levels are totally normal. The only thing obviously that's come back is when I had my scans that I have got cysts on my ovaries, but it's not like my hormone is playing up. So they're not like, it, so it's not like it's, um, like they, they call it like I haven't got the syndrome part, I haven't got the poly, polycystic ovarian syndrome, but I do have cysts on my ovaries, so that's probably one of the main factors of it. Um, and it's been like that ever since I was young. Like, I don't know whether I've always had cysts on my ovaries, but I've always had obviously issues with my cycles, stuff like that. So, the next stage now is that they have referred me to the Queen Elizabeth in Birmingham which is the women's hospital and i've basically been referred for like a it's a telephone call that they they call me and get me to explain the situation blah 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 and then we have to take it from there so um they may refer me then for the operation which is what i'm hoping but it probably won't be for a couple of months that they even tell me that they've referred me. So I don't know, we've just got to see. I mean, the operation will just be to take off the cysts from my ovaries to enable, you know, eggs to release. It's just like, it's it's just the point of, it's not the fact that I want a baby tomorrow. It's not like that. I, we, me and Ed are really busy and, you know, we, if it happens, it happens, but it's, we're not we're not like trying for a baby or anything like that. It's just the fact of, you know if you want if you if you know i'm 25 years old and this process is going to be long so it's just like 
if I wanted to next year or whenever if I wanted to have a baby then it's like I haven't even got the option because my body's not releasing eggs so I need to do something about it now even if two three five years in time that I, that we decide to have kids then then at least the option is there but at the moment there's just like no scope for it whatsoever so it's just like at least this is getting the ball rolling and um you know it, at least something's been done so yeah i've just got to wait and see what they say um at the queen elizabeth and then i'll probably have to go in for assessments there as well so yes that is good i'm glad that i've been referred because that's what i wanted so it's really good so apart from that i'm just at work i'm finishing slightly early today because i've got to go and uh, well it's my way in tonight and the christmas wishes are like announced whether you got them or not sort of thing and i really really hope i have i went on my scales and i'm half a pound under what i should be to get it so i just hope that i don't go heavier throughout the day nothing else to report guys <laughs> It's much lighter now. We are just at um, an Indian restaurant, so it's really, really loud in here. So hopefully, you can hear me. But um, I've been swimming well, and I'm really pleased because I managed to lose two pounds, which means I actually did get my Christmas wish. So I was really, really pleased. My Christmas wish was to get five, my five star award, so I managed it, which is so good. So we're just having a treat now. I think it's going to be a little bit more relaxed over the Christmas week, and then ready to get straight back on it. So at the Indian, I'm having a chicken tikka dancer with a boiled rice and a chapati and I've had a couple of poppadoms so it's still like I haven't gone boiled but if I was going to go boiled I've had an egg fried rice, peshwari art and a chicken masala which I haven't actually had since I started so I've got a um, chicken dansak bolte and a boiled rice and a chapati back from the meal now it was nice nice shiny shall have a curry I haven't had one for ages so it was nice and uh, we're at Cinnamon World the lady that runs the shop made us one of these which is so nice it's um the sin free red onion chutney which i love and i've made her recipe as well it's so good so i'm really looking forward to having this with some cheese the hello fresh box also came today some nice recipes in there but i think that's the last one that we're going to have so i can fully concentrate on slimming world when um the new year comes in so that'll be good my camera's just cut off so i don't know what point i got to when i was speaking but i was just saying that um for christmas me and Ed have decided not to have a traditional Christmas dinner because we, like, he's not really that keen on roasts. Um, I'm not that bothered, and it's just nice to do something different sometimes. And we've never done this before, so we thought we would get loads of the Iceland party food and just have that as our Christmas dinner. So, like, make loads up, um, and then any leftovers we can take to like Ed's mum and dad's on the night, or we can take some to my mum's um, on the day after. So we thought that would be a really good idea and obviously with me being so restricted on eating as well like we haven't ate out like at all really this uh, like as much as we used to and I've been very like strict and stuff so this week I am relaxing it because it's not fair on Ed otherwise so I am just sort of really having what I want and I'm having like we've, we've bought loads basically from us and I used to work there so I know the party food quite well and it has improved a lot since um I was uh, I was there as well. And I thought I'd show you some of the things that we got. So I got these uh, sticky chicken skewers, which are actually not that bad on Slimming World. I think they're like a couple of scenes each, something like that, but they are amazing. Like I loved them when I worked at Iceland. Chicken goujons. We've got duck spring rolls. There. I mean, this is just absolutely just sinful as ridiculous. <laughs> Profiteroles, including salted caramel ones. Chicken tikka bites, mussels, not for me, blech, and a uh, mini pizzas. Ed picked up this Jersey cream rice pudding, which actually looks amazing. Prawn toasts, breaded cheese selection, and 18 jumbo tempura prawns. I don't eat prawns or fish or anything really like that, so they're Ed's as well. And last, but by no means least, a Dolce de Leche Banoffee pie. Oh my god. I really wanted the salty caramel cheesecake that they're doing, but they haven't got it in my Iceland. So my nan is going to a different one tomorrow to try and find it for me. So oh, we could have one or the other on Boxing Day and um, Christmas Day, which will be amazing. From the chilled stuff, I got this Brussels pate with cranberry. I am a huge pate lover. If you haven't gathered from all my um, like uh, meals out and stuff, it's just my go-to starter. I love it. And these after-eight desserts. 
I appreciate this is a lot of food, but it isn't just for us. Like, we're going to cook a selection of it and then take all the rest um, for, like, a buffet at um, our parents and stuff. So, don't worry, it's not all for us. <laughs> um, Cathedral City, extra mature, some bacon, some grapes. We've got camembert because that is one of mine and it's favourite thing. We had it for um, starter last year on Christmas Day. It's amazing. Ed put in some dime bars and also Revels. Uh, Maltesers. This is like the worst shop that I've done since I've been on Slimming World. It's just but I was just like if you can't enjoy Christmas, what is life? And we got some smoky cheddar and some Wednesday Dale and Cranberry which is also amazing. Some what's it? Oh, I did get Philadelphia light, so not too bad. And squirty cream light, and some custard. What's it? Diet Coke. There we go. We've got the Diet Coke. That's not too bad. It's past midnight now. I've been cleaning the kitchen all night. I've only got this back one uh, back bit to do. So I've been sort of just just totally cleaning it because it's just got so bad. Because I've not been here. It just builds up and builds up, doesn't it? So this is what it's looking like now. So I've managed to do that and clean the floor and everything. So... Yeah, it is looking all right. Um, obviously, that door doesn't go because that door was here before. But we want, like, we do want a better door on there eventually. But uh, yeah, it's nice to see it, like, actually usable for a change. It's the dishwasher. I am absolutely shattered now, so I am gonna head to bed. So I hope you all have all had a good day, and I will catch you tomorrow. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.